Well, 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 well. What are we doing, peeps? What are we doing? Goose here, man, just in the car. Uh, foggy day here in South Louisiana. It's foggy. But, uh, all right, man. So before I get started, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, ring the bell, and uh, give the video a thumbs up. That's if you're a subscriber or not. All right, so the Saints last night um, got beat down offensively. Offensively, this team is still... This team is very not very good defensive. I mean, offensively, excuse me. Um, as the Cowboys win 27-17, you're not going to win any football games in the NFL scoring 17 points. It's just, I mean, you, you might be you might beat the uh, the Lions or the Jets, but you're definitely not going to beat any upper echelon teams uh, scoring 17 points. So, uh, just, I mean, Taysom Hill four interceptions. Yeah, he hurt his finger. Uh, blah blah blah. But I mean, he, he still. I mean, he still. I don't know, man. This team has major problems, uh, and, it's at, and it's at the quarterback position. And uh, it sucks that uh, Jameis Winston got hurt, and we'll never know uh, what would have happened. Would we be five and seven at this point? Would would uh, Winston probably not? We'd probably be six and six, maybe seven and five. And I'll say bad burn. We'd probably be seven and five with Jameis Winston. Um, you know, because uh, I mean, Buffalo is better than we are, but it, it's, it's 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 all just a guessing game. Of uh, how things will play out if uh, certain players weren't injured, but if uh, if James if, if Jameis Winston was uh, still a quarterback, and um, and, we, and we still had the same injuries as we had the last few weeks, you know, with Kamara and Ingram, I would say we'd be seven and five right now. Um, worst case scenario, six and six. But uh, man, I mean, uh, it's just it is what it is. It's it's not nothing's going to change. Um, it's not going to get much. It's not going to get drastically different. Uh, the quarterback position is what it is. We have quarterbacks that can't throw the football. And all of a sudden, we can't run the football. Whatever ha what happened to our offensive line? We can't run the football anymore. Um, I know Kamara is out, but uh, Ingram was playing last night. Uh, uh, we just cannot run the football. Uh, defensively, I thought, that if, I thought the defense played okay for the most part last night. Um, we had that big uh, – Tony Pollard had that big long run, which was not good. Uh, that was horrible defense there. But outside of that, I thought the defense played well. You had seven points that was on a, a pick six. So uh, Dallas scored 20 points on against our defense. So um, I thought I thought the defense played okay. Um, like I said that that long run was was not good. Marcus Williams took a bad angle. Looked like he was looks like he was stuck in the mud, running out there and uh, you know out there in center field out there. But anyway. It is what it is. Uh, onto the John, onto the Jets. Uh, and they'll play the Jets. Uh, not, not, of course, not, of course, not this Sunday, but the following Sunday they play the Jets up there in Meadowlands. A uh, Meadow, uh, Meadowlands. Listen to me. Uh, Met Life. Man, I'm going. I'm going back a few years. Call it the Meadowlands. As uh, a flip in Met Life. But uh, is things going to change in a few weeks? Who knows? Uh, quarterback position is still. Uh, quarterback position is still just is, is just awful. Awful. Uh, just, it's awful. Trevor Simeon can't throw. Taysom Hill can't throw. Uh, they probably should have made, they probably should have thought about making a move once Winston got hurt and going and maybe looking to get, uh, I don't know, Phillip Rivers. I don't know if he wanted to play football anymore, but something should have been done because the two quarterbacks that we had on the roster weren't enough to lead us to, uh, to wins. Um, we're going to have to, we're going to have to rely on our defense and our running game. And now since Kamara's been out, that puts a uh, that puts a crimp in, in that schedule. But uh, but we can't run block now. All of a sudden we can't run block, which is crazy. Um, so called the best, you know, one of the best offensive lines in the league. So they said, and uh, we just can't run the football. So here's what it is, guys. So congratulations, to all the Dallas fans. Uh, Y'all thoroughly deserve to win. You are the better team last night. Had a great time in the live stream. Uh, Win or lose, win or lose, I always have a great time in the live stream. I really do. Uh, it might not seem it like at times when my team is losing, I get a little frustrated, but I do have a great time because the company is great. So I'll see y'all guys next time. I'll be live tonight for the uh, Pac-12 Championship. Iowa, Iowa, listen to me. I'm get, I got all my team screwed up. Utah and Oregon. We'll see if uh, Oregon can make the game uh, competitive. Last time they played Utah earlier in the year, they got there. They got their butts whooped. So we'll see what happens tonight in the Pac-12 championships over there in the Death Star over there in Vegas. That's one stadium I would love to go visit one day over there in Vegas is the Death Star. 
Have a good one. I'll talk to you guys next time. And uh, who that, I guess. Have a good one.